before breakfast has been one of my recent favorite things to make and have for breakfast. So I actually make them the night before in these, as you probably have seen, these 300 milliliter jars. And I do about one fourth cup of chia seeds and then a cup of, I like coconut milk, so I use coconut milk. You could do oat milk, almond milk, whatever kind of milk you want. And then a dash of maple syrup and a dash of vanilla extract. And sometimes I like to, like I did last night and I'm having this morning, sometimes I like to sprinkle a couple of frozen berries just on top. And then in the morning, I cut up any fresh fruit that we have. So this morning I did a banana, and I had some blueberries and then top it with some granola and it is so good. So our coffee machine is currently getting fixed. So I'm gonna go walk over to Dan's parents to have my morning coffee. Let's go. Now, I don't normally do much work from out here, although it is such a nice place to do some work because of this view. But today it is so hot and I want to do a little bit more editing of this video that I'm gonna be sharing in the next couple of days that will already have been posted by the time this video goes out but I'm really excited about sharing this video, but I'm also equally nervous because I share something that I haven't really shared much with anyone besides my close family and friends. So I'm sharing something really openly and honestly and vulnerably, but that's me. <laughs> But it still does, any time that I share things like this, it still does give me that little feeling of like, oh, am I gonna do this? Am I gonna share this? But I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna do a little bit more editing. My mom's gonna send me a couple of photos so that I can include it in this video that I'm editing that I'll be sharing soon. But let's do some editing. to start making dinner tonight i'm making one of my favorites and one of dan's mom's favorites i invited them over for dinner tonight since dan is away tonight i am making teriyaki salmon rice bowls now i do just want to mention as well one of the reasons i decided to do a day in my life living in a shipping container home is because dan is away at work and it just makes it so much easier for me to film a day in my life living here in our shipping container home. I don't live here alone. He's just away from work at the moment, which is why I decided to share my day in my life living in our shipping container home. So I'm gonna start making dinner. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorites. So let's go. Mm -hmm. 